Hi, in this video, let's talk about single input neuron, which is a very basic unit in the neural network. Our brain has a hundred billion neurons. We will just take a look only one neuron here. When there's a pressure, the single input neuron calculates the pressure as a signal and send the signal to the next neuron. This is a single input neuron in our artificial neural network. When there's a pressure, we multiply with weight. We call it WP, and then we give this WP as an input parameter of activation function. The activation function will return high value if the WP is greater than the threshold of the activation function. The activation returns high value, and if the WP is less than the threshold of the activation function, the activation returns low value. As you can see here, the W as weight multiplied by P as pressure is an input parameter of the activation function. Let's take a brief look at the activation function here. As you can see, there are four activation functions in this page, and there are a lot more activation functions in the deep learning field. Except for linear function in this page, generally it returns plus one when the input parameter is greater than the threshold of the activation function, and the activation returns minus 1 when the parameter is less than the threshold. The linear function here does not return binary result. It, is, it returns linear value according to your linear function. Here is one example. In this example, I use a step function. When w is 2 and p is 1, w multiplied by p becomes 2. This 2 goes to step function, which is our activation function. Since the threshold of step function is 0, and 2 is greater than 0, the step function returns 1. What if we have constraints that the pressure and the weight both always to be positive number? Can this step function return minus 1? Because w multiplied by p will always greater than 0. That is the reason why we want to have bias value in the neuron. With the bias, we can easily handle the activation function with our expectation. This is the single input neuron designed with bias. Here is the example again. When the weight is 1, pressure is 2, and the bias is minus 2, the activation now gets 0 as input. So the result of the activation is 1 here, and here you go. When the pressure is 1, W multiplied by P plus bias becomes minus 1. The activation will return minus 1 since the input minus 1 is less than the threshold. In this video, we have learned single input neuron, weight, pressure, and the bias. I will see you on the next video with an advanced neurons. Thank you.